Hello dreamers, how are you doing? I just hope that you are safe and healthy. With the outbreak of coronavirus around the world, it is now affecting all our lives in some way or the other. Many of you requested me to make a video about its effect on Express Entry Draw. Will it impact the CRS cutoff score or not? If yes, will the CRS cutoff score rise or fall in the upcoming draws? So this video is all about the prediction of uh, CRS score in the upcoming draws of the next few months. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly make videos about Canadian immigration and lifestyle for new Canadians. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and yes, press the bell icon to receive notifications about my new uploads. Okay, coronavirus or COVID-19 is hitting us really, really, really hard now. And bad news keeps coming from around the world. It will not be wrong to say that almost all the human lives across the world are getting affected by this health emergency. And Canada is no exception. In Canada, until now, more than 3,400 cases have been found. The problem still being that we are not able to flatten the curve. The curve is still on the rising end. And this is the official website of Government of Canada. You can see the number of cases are more than 3,400 and the problem still being that the curve is still showing exponential growth it is nowhere even close to getting flattened okay so this was about the covid 19 status in canada what effect will it have on the express entry let's discuss okay we know that the entire express entry process can be divided into six steps the third step being the profile creation after that you get the ita for the third step or to create your profile you actually need to complete two very important steps that will be the mandatory steps before creating the profile you need to get your education credential assessment done and you also need your IELTS now let's talk about the step one your education credential assessment most of us actually go through world education services because they provide very fast service of your education credential assessment their website says it very clearly that due to COVID-19 pandemic, WES has temporarily suspended all in-office operations. So this is something which is very clear and all applicants whose documents reached their office after 10th of March can expect delays. Okay, so this was about WES but similarly there are other agencies with the similar updates as well. Uh, most of us are advised to work from home but it is not possible for all the job categories to work from home and I believe WES would also be one of them and similarly other ECA organizations have done that as well. Okay so this was about your ECA or your step one. The second step is your language proficiency test or your IELTS. Most of us actually go for IELTS or uh, CELPIP for an English test. So here you can see this is the official website of uh, IELTS not British Council or IDP, official website of IELTS, IELTS.org and you might also be aware of it that they've suspended the test in uh, many parts of the world including India. They've listed here which all countries, which all uh, places the tests have been cancelled almost around the world that the tests are being cancelled on daily basis and they're updating their website. If you talk of India, of course there's this uh, Complete lockdown which has been implemented since a couple of days back and now you cannot expect a test to happen in the next three weeks. So obviously this would stop many people from appearing in the test. We also know that many of us don't get our desired bands in the first time. We do get the uh, band second or the third time. So many people would also be stuck after their first attempt that they're not able to refresh their IELTS score. And update their express entry profile so obviously there would be a lot of people who would be stuck at this stage now okay so this was about your ECA and language proficiency test now let's have a look at the latest express entry rounds thankfully IRCC is still working hats off to their employees they're still working in these conditions and the rounds of invitations are still happening the latest express entry draw was actually held on March 23rd which was kind of a surprise draw for all of us 
and uh, it invited around 3200 canadian experience class candidates not all candidates this was not an all program draw just like the previous draw which was only for the pnp candidates this was only for the canadian experience class candidates all right now this time they also gave the breakdown of points above 450 okay so in the past two draws around 4000 invitations have been issued and this was the status of the pool in uh, on march 13th so we can clearly see that there were many invitations that actually went to candidates that joined the pool after march 13 as well okay and obviously we know by now that the rate by which the pool gets replenished every single day was very high now with the people not able to get their eca done not able to clear their aisles obviously the rates would go down drastically in the upcoming days considering that india has been locked down for next three weeks and uh, there could be future lockdowns or at least social distancing measures taken in the near future as well this draw would definitely go down in the near future assuming that there would be regular draws still being conducted in canada now we never know the situations change rapidly almost every day if we see the next draw after one month or maybe three weeks then yes the drop would not be that obvious it might drop two or three points only but yes looking at the trends from around the world it seems that the crs cutoff score would actually go down in the upcoming draws if the draws are conducted at regular interval of two weeks guys don't forget that there are a lot of assumptions when we talk of uh, this prediction and this is purely a prediction looking at the trends looking at the scenario around the world whatever happens immigrating to canada would only be possible when we are all alive so it is more important that we take good care of us we follow government guidelines we stay at home and stay safe so thank you guys that was all the information that i wanted to share through this video i just hope that uh, this video would encourage you would give you some positive vibes all of those people waiting in the express entry pool for a long time would have some good positive vibes in the current world when we see only negative news around coronavirus update so thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button and yes don't forget to put your comment below i would love to hear your feedback thanks again